Good morning folks and welcome to Tech TV. It's a nice frosty crisp morning over here in Ireland and uh, I've just got cow number five into the crush. She seems to have a little bit of bother on her back left so I'll take you around to that now. She's cow number five today in the crush and you can just see the sun shining in here it's lovely. You see the cows that have already been trimmed today standing nice and happy. You know it's a cold morning when you can see your breath. This cow's got quite a bit of damage here to her white line area. This is all very big here. So, we take these trims slowly with the knife just to see what we're dealing with. You've got bad ear, have you? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Wouldn't cut a lot of stuff out, which is good. <laughs> Now you can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, what do you like? It's always good to get some banter with the farmer on camera. One of my favourite aspects of the job. It's a bad day you don't get some sort of laugh at something. So I can see what we're dealing with here. We have a white line issue here. Bit of a cavity in there. There's also a little thing here, I think this will trim out okay and be able to take a block, but now that I see what I have, I'll introduce the grinder. So I don't like trimming this axle wall too thinly, but I'm just checking it out here to see, and that's all good. So, that'll take a block nicely. So I'll get that on and get the glue drying. Pray about that, folks. My um, camera that I had on the foot there, the frosty weather seems to be getting dead as well, and uh, it cut out there, but we're back up and running, so sorry if we missed a wee bit of the trim there. This glue also is that it's that thick that you can actually apply it to the cow's hoof and the block. So I'm trying this out now. Other glues that I've used, if you put it on the block at that angle, it would run off. So the next process of this is just cleaning out the loose horn around this lesion here. So it seems to be going quite deep. This wall horn can be really tough stuff. So I try to take some of it off of the grinder, but when you're getting in this close to the corium, the knife is great.
this area here is actually the corium and then this area here is the loop these are the pieces of loose horn that I'm trying to remove without damaging the corium anymore that sometimes you just have to touch it I'm just going to open another bandage here because I don't put on a dressing. I always put on an extra little bit of bandage just as extra protection, a few layers. So. Just to keep the manure in the dirt and keep the product on it for as long as we can. Got the back left foot sorted on this cow, but I also noticed she's a wee bit lame on her back right. And she's got a little interdigital growth in there with dermatitis on it. So that's going to need to be trimmed, cleaned out and bandaged. Also, there's a little bit of bruising here, but I don't think it is causing her any problems. And it certainly won't after the trim. So I'm cleaning out this growth just with an antibacterial wipe just to clean it off so the, the salicylic acid can get right in there where it needs to work. using this salicylic acid paste on white lines and things but I think for the in-between growths I prefer just the powder. Some of you asked that question what's the difference in it. Um, they're both salicylic acid really but the gel tends to stick to the white line areas better um, so then you can get the bandage on it just a bit easier. And I think the powder dries out these ropes better. I just need to do her front right foot and get her out of the crush. That girl's certainly walking a little bit more comfortable in both those back feet and she's away over to enjoy the morning sunshine. I think it could also be time for me to go and get a cup of coffee and sit and enjoy that morning sunshine as well. If only. I think I've got too many cows to do. 
Take care folks and thanks for watching the video. See you all in the next one. Thank you.